The characters are no stronger than they were in Dragon Ball. Mountains blow up at the same size, beam sizes are the same, characters vanish the same as they always have. The feats are the same because they have to be on the page. They have to be understandable enough for the reader to grasp their scope, but also just large enough to be impressive. The fights are the same. <clears throat> and you cannot impress me with this. The ceiling was hit a long time ago. You could have Goku rear back and do a fucking Kamehameha for the millionth goddamn time, and he fires this shit into space. It goes past the moon to show the scale. We, we missed the, the moon back again, right? It blows up the moon again for the hell of it. It goes past the sun. And the beam gets wider and eclipses the whole sun. It's bigger than the sun. This shit puts Sephiroth's pussy supernova to shame. And we pan out and we see the fucking beam just lawn mowing through the whole galaxy now. The whole Milky Way galaxy. It's just a cone of blue key plowing through the whole galaxy. And then it pans out even more. And we see the whole galactic cluster. The whole local cluster. And the beam just starts exploding galaxies because it's so big. And we just, we cut back to Goku on Earth. And it's just a cloud of dust and blue shit. And he's screaming, Aah! Super Saiyan Ultra Deluxe 6.7 Baconator Edition. K.O. Ken times 4 Google Quinbillion. And it shows the fucking Universal Milky Way Supercluster. And the beam just, it, it vaporizes all of it. And it zooms out again. And it's just white light, because it's too zoomed out, and all you're seeing are dots of ultra clusters of galaxies. Like, pixels on a computer monitor. And Goku is just mowing them all down, because he's so strong, and his number is so big! And then it goes to Cell, or Jiren, or Demigra, or Pilaf. After absorbing the seven rainbow multiverse Dragon Balls of Legend, or whatever. And he's like... Oh no, his power level is too big. And he vanishes. Because the big Kamehameha was the biggest. And that field of white light from before has a big black cone where the strong attack hit to kill the bad man. And Goku is back on Earth. And he wipes his brow and he gives a thumbs up to the camera. Goku, I'm not impressed. That was stupid, what you did. You should be ashamed of yourself. Dragon Ball hit that ceiling a long, long time ago. The feats are the same, because if Goku did that, it would be like a drunk hitting rock bottom and waking up in a gutter full of dead cats and realizing he had gone too far. The feats are the fucking same. It doesn't matter what number you attach to it to convince the audience that there has been plot escalation. Dragon Ball's power levels have not changed much at all since the very first pages of Goku shrugging off a gunshot. Goku didn't improve when he fought Tail Pai Pai. He was given an artificially created point of contention and then allowed to move past it after a scene that only existed to assure the viewer that he was making progress in his training. That's the whole point of that scene. That's how Dragon Ball is written. But why? How did this happen? How did we go from creative, fun fights to angry-faced number battles. Well, like I said before, the answer to most of, this, most of this shit comes down to marketing and Toriyama's horrible writing. Dragon Ball is the granddaddy of Shonen, so it's, it's not like it was emulating bad behavior that was cancers to the genre already. Toriyama manufactured this exact problem. But this problem of narrative escalation has always existed in writing. If Ahab had killed Moby Dick and then survived to Moby Dick 2, would he have had to kill an even wider whale? With even more canvas-like elements projecting his character flaws back upon him as he attempted to slay the sins handed down from Adam on down until his heart bursts again like a cannon upon the mirror of his own soul? I don't know, maybe. If your character completes their arc and you still want to use the character, what the hell do they do? common problem. It's just that in Shonen, the problem isn't non-literal. It's the physical crux of the entire setting. Shonen Jump, when Dragon Ball was being published, had been around for about two decades. It was established. And this was 1980s Japan. 
the United States was actually afraid that the Japanese economy would surpass them at the time. I remember hearing this shit on the news all the time whenever I was a kid. Before the Berlin Wall came down. Also, Challenger Explosion and the Iran hostage crisis. 80s were fucked up. But in Japan, business was cutthroat. You needed to maintain that fucking reader count. And if your manga establishes that an old man is the strongest person in the world, the, the readers immediately want to know, when does Goku get stronger than the old man? Dragon Ball Super right now is desperately trying to reel in power levels. It really is. It's doing it with tears now, they still exist, but they're trying desperately not to focus on it too much. But even now, fans are still angry that Goku hasn't gotten stronger than Beerus. When's it gonna happen? When's he gonna beat Beerus? Jiren is the new hot shit at this moment. And people are already wanting to know, who's the strongest you know, who, who's the strongest guy ever is gonna be after that? When's the next one? When's the next strongest man? And he hasn't even fought anyone yet. Jiren hasn't even fought. And people are already wanting to know what's gonna come after that. Will it be El Padre Grande? Is he secretly the real god of the universe? Can white-haired Colombian edgelord Gohan defeat this new threat? Once you kill him, do they go to another multiverse? Fans don't care. They're like dumb little kids. If you show them something, they want it. They want it now. Baby want now. And you can't step backwards. If Goku defeats the fucking devil and his reincarnation, what do you do then? Well, better go to fucking space. Shonen Jump's offices... It pressures writers to maintain this escalation. So readers will keep being interested in what's happening in the future. If you went from the Demon King Piccolo to Goku fighting bandits or something, no one's gonna buy it. It's nonsense. That's part of what happened to the GT, other than it being shit. They go out in the space where supposedly Frieza was nightmarishly stronger than anyone who had ever lived. After killing his super clone cell and after killing Boo, the incarnation of evil itself. And there's just guys there. Guys that are stronger than that. For no reason. Just with no explanation. Because new enemies have to be stronger. Or you lose viewers. You lose uh, readers. 